have you at any time reviewed whether we're genuinely alone in the universe or, on the other hand, assumed there's something different to our reality other than whatever we see? Imagine what is going on. Consider the possibility that the James Webb Telescope at last shows that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we figure out more about this world, getting the news out that will make you question all that you assumed you had some wisdom of with respect to the universe. So what precisely are black holes? They're similar to something out of a spine chiller. Sure, you could have seen them in science fiction films, but what's much more upsetting is that they're not just a fictitious concept. According to well-informed specialists, black holes in space are really huge amounts of matter packed into an inconceivably minuscule region. Imagine a star a few times more gigantic than the sun, all packed into a space the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so extreme that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Researchers have been entranced by black holes for quite a while. At first, they studied objects in space so large and dense that they could trap light. The most striking ideas about black holes were proposed by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a dense core. If this core's mass is several times that of the sun, gravity overpowers everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. It is not easy to identify black holes as they emit no light. However, researchers have found ways to interpret their presence by noticing their effects on nearby matter. For example, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it will pull matter toward it in a process called accretion. Furthermore, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can be destroyed, emitting X-rays as it does so. Black holes also have a significant impact on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, produce intense light emissions, and even affect the formation of new stars in some regions while suppressing it in others. So how do black holes form? Picture this. Stars, once bright and shining, meet their searing end in a massive explosion called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes arise. Most black holes form from massive stars that have reached the end of their life cycle in a supernova. However, smaller stars, when they die, turn into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are incredibly dense but not dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is several times the mass of our sun, it implodes under its own gravitational force, forming a black hole. As these massive stars collapse, something surprising happens near their surfaces. Time itself begins to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time seems to slow down near the event horizon, the last defining point for anything falling into a black hole. The clock ticks at a different speed compared to ours. At times, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to form a much larger and even more terrifying black hole. If a black hole interacts with a neutron star, it creates an incredible nightmare that resists understanding. Researchers have been wrestling with the size of these astronomical phenomena for a long time. Black holes come in two sizes, large and small. However, there's a bit of a misconception about them. Small is relative when it comes to black holes. Extremely large black holes, remnants of massive stars, can be as much as 10 million times the mass of the sun. There could be upwards of 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That's a tremendous number of black holes that could swallow anything in their way. But wait, there's more. Very large black holes exist at the extreme end of the spectrum. They are millions, if not billions, of times greater than the Sun. These live at the centers of large galaxies, including our own Milky Way. They appear like a massive dead space, pulling everything toward them. The prestigious physicist Stephen Hawking talked about black holes throughout his life. His theories were well established, but some of his ideas proved challenging to confirm due to a lack of cutting-edge technology. Yet now there's hope on the horizon. Not too far off, a single revolutionary instrument is changing everything. It's known as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and it's here to explore the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a demonstration of human ingenuity. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before and they've done their job well, but this rare machine is on a level that is truly extraordinary. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has served us for so long, look like a basic tool in the universe. 
the retail cost of this cosmic wonder is an astounding $1 billion. Yes, you heard that right, an eye-watering number of zeros. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this marvel to life, along with massive contributions from over 300 universities. However, we shouldn't forget the risks that come with such a monumental undertaking. I understand this isn't an endeavor for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into an unknown world, stretching the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. Following a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last several times its original mission life. Since its launch, the JWST has already made several groundbreaking achievements. It traveled over one million miles to reach its orbit around the sun, where it will reside indefinitely. During its journey, the telescope successfully deployed its enormous five-layer sunshield and large primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after calibration and adjustments, the telescope is almost ready for full operation. One of the most exciting parts of the James Webb Space Telescope's mission was when NASA announced it had captured its first major pictures of starlight. The first image taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, revealing a series of 18 scattered bright spots from the star's light collected by the 18 mirror segments arranged on the primary mirror. NASA later released another stunning image of HD 8446, where 18 unfocused copies of the star were arranged in a deliberate hexagonal pattern. Once the observatory adjusts the individual areas of the primary mirror, it will begin the process of stacking images on top of each other to create one clear view. Thanks to its sophisticated technology, the JWST will assist scientists in studying the early stages of the universe following the Big Bang. It will focus on what happened after the first stars formed, a time known as the Epoch of Reionization. This refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, given an electric charge once again by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help scientists discover exoplanets, which are extremely challenging to detect due to how they interact with their host stars. Strong observations can now closely study these planets, allowing scientists to examine their atmospheres and investigate the conditions necessary for life. The JWST's capabilities will help researchers better predict whether specific planets might be habitable. Beyond studying planet formation, researchers focus on these worlds to understand how matter is organized on a massive scale. This, in turn, helps us understand how the universe has evolved, forming the galaxies we see today, billions of years later. One of the JWST's goals is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand how they evolved. Scientists are also trying to determine how we got the variety of galaxies we see today, as well as the ongoing processes that lead to the formation and merging of galaxies. Ultimately, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer the most fundamental questions of all. Are we alone in the universe? Are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already been on the hunt. And guess what? It has found compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, hiding around massive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules with ring-like structures appear to be the goth of the universe. They're found everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our own solar system. Now, they're not just interesting because they could form the building blocks of life, but also because they help science track star development. When bright radiation hits these PAHs, they become energized and emit infrared light, a signal that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument. This is often a sign that there are some hot, energetic stars nearby. But hold on for the surprising twist. Astrophysicist Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford University decided to examine three intriguing galaxies, NGC 6502, NGC 731, and the Este Pin Quintet, as well as NGC 749. These galaxies are millions of light years away in the depths of darkness. What Garcia Bernard found will send chills down your spine. In those central regions, where the black holes reign, he noticed an overflow of pHs. Sounds interesting, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near these massive black holes changed the structure of the pHs, transforming them into larger, 
electrically neutral forms of themselves. The smaller electrically charged PAHs disappeared into nothingness, being consumed by the very darkness. However, the larger PAHs survived, finding shelter inside thin, dense gas clouds. It's as though they found their own protective cover against the fury of the black hole's pull. Now, you might ask why this dark matter matters. Well, for space scientists who rely on PAHs to trace star formation, it's a big deal. Star-forming regions are often completely flooded with electrically charged PAHs. If those particles are destroyed near black holes, it could affect the way we measure the life and evolution of stars throughout the galaxy. It's a sign that the galaxy itself could have a different life cycle. All these observations are just the beginning, as scientists are still trying to unlock the mysteries of space. And with the JWST at their disposal, they might finally answer one of the most exciting questions we have. Are we living inside a black hole? The James Webb Space Telescope is reshaping the landscape of astronomical discovery. It's not just sending us pretty pictures. It's fundamentally changing our understanding of the cosmos. Could it be that we're not alone or worse, living in a cosmic trap? The answers might be just beyond the event horizon as the James Webb Space Telescope continues to gather unprecedented data. Its findings challenge our long-held views about the universe and our place within it. The idea that we might be living inside a black hole sounds like science fiction, but it's no longer purely hypothetical. With the JWST uncovering complex and unexpected phenomena, the notion that our universe could be a product of some other larger cosmic structure is becoming more plausible. While we may not yet have conclusive evidence that we're inside a black hole, recent discoveries point to some very strange and puzzling implications. For one, the discovery of ancient molecules, such as the PAHs we mentioned earlier, suggests that the environments surrounding supermassive black holes are more complex than we once thought. This has led to further questioning of what's going on in the very heart of galaxies. The JWST's ability to observe these mysterious black holes and the surrounding cosmic material with such clarity is offering a glimpse into the heart of the cosmos in a way that was previously impossible. Moreover, the JWST is diving deeper into the structure of space-time itself. One of its core missions is to understand the formation and evolution of galaxies, especially those formed in the earliest stages of the universe. It's capturing images of galaxies that are billions of light years away, some of which are so ancient they could hold answers to the most fundamental questions about the origin of the universe. If black holes are indeed playing a role in shaping these galaxies, it could dramatically shift our understanding of cosmology. Let's take a step back and consider some of the wild possibilities. What if the way we think of reality is entirely misguided? If black holes can warp space-time to such an extreme degree, it might be possible that what we perceive as the edge of our universe is simply the event horizon of a massive black hole, one that could be part of a larger, multidimensional structure. In this model, the universe itself could be just one small segment of a much larger and older cosmic cycle. Our entire existence might be nothing more than a fleeting moment in a cosmic cycle, spiraling in and out of existence. These theories aren't entirely new either. They are built on the idea that space-time might be more flexible and multi-layered than we imagine. In fact, scientists have long proposed the idea that our universe could exist inside a larger black hole. Some theories suggest that what we experience as the Big Bang could have been the moment our universe was born inside a black hole, forming its own event horizon. This leads to the intriguing possibility that there may be an entire multiverse of universes, each inside its own black hole, existing in a vast cosmic network. So, if we're living inside a black hole, what would that mean for our understanding of life, the universe, and everything in it? It would suggest that our reality is not only more fragile than we think, but also part of an endless cycle of birth and rebirth, possibly even interacting with other universes. The deeper the JWST probes, the more it is pushing us toward the edge of what we understand and what we don't. In the coming years, the JWST will continue to peer deeper into the universe, potentially uncovering the mysteries that link galaxies, black holes, and the very fabric of reality itself. If black holes are indeed gateways to alternate realities, the implications for our view of existence could be staggering. It may even lead us to reconsider the very nature of time and space, and whether our understanding of the cosmos is as limited as we think. 
But for now, we're still in the early stages. The JWST's findings are just the tip of the iceberg. As more data is collected, it will open doors to new avenues of research. Every new discovery challenges the conventional wisdom and opens up the possibility that we may be on the verge of uncovering some of the most profound truths about the universe. Truths that could reshape not only our understanding of space and time, but also the very essence of life itself. As the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to unveil the hidden depths of the universe, scientists are also considering how its findings could influence theories of quantum mechanics and multiverse models. The extreme environments surrounding black holes challenge our fundamental understanding of physics, pushing the boundaries of both general relativity and quantum theory. The JWST's observations of distant galaxies and supermassive black holes may even offer new insights into the nature of gravity and how it shapes the cosmos on a grand scale. Moreover, the telescope's capabilities may offer a fresh perspective on the enigmatic phenomenon of dark energy, the force believed to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. If the JWST can gather more data on cosmic structures influenced by dark energy, it could unlock crucial details about the fate of the universe, its ultimate destiny, and the mysterious forces that govern its evolution. The implications of these discoveries may reshape our understanding of the cosmos for generations to come. In the end, whether we are living inside a black hole or simply exploring the far reaches of space in search of answers, one thing is clear. Humanity's thirst for knowledge is boundless. And the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us push the boundaries of what we know, revealing a cosmos far more mysterious and complex than we could have ever imagined. The future of space exploration is only just beginning, and who knows what groundbreaking discoveries lie ahead. One thing's for sure, the universe is full of surprises, and we're only just beginning to scratch the surface.